invited me to your house. Well, it's my pleasure. Hey, come on in. Uh, did you want some more? Um, no, don't, that's, that's okay, thanks. Um, Steve, um, you're one of the coolest guys in school. Um, why did you invite me, the class, dork, to your house? Sandy, over the past few weeks, with having to do that assignment with you, I learned to appreciate the real you. Sandy, I love you. <gasps> oh, Steve! <laughs> Here, take off those glasses. Let me see your beautiful face. I'm sorry, God. I couldn't help myself. That was just too bloomin' funny. Lally's the name. Comedy's the game. Now, I know what you're thinking back at home. Sure, I laughed my ass off back there. But just how did I get infected by that funny fever? Let's take a look. Our mate here is a bit of a cool dude. And he's invited around a real geekaroo. Then, bam, we cut to this room here. They're enjoying a little bit of a beverage. But she is still wondering, what's a little geek like me doing here with Mr. Cool? And she puts it to him. What's going on, Coolio McGill? Well, babe, I've realised the beauty is more than skin deep. He wants to lay claim to her lippage, so he asks her to take off her four-eyed monsters. But in doing so, he realises that she's actually a completely hideous specimen of humanity. <laughs> in the morgue now. If I think about this any further, I just might kill myself laugh. I know you at home want it, so I'm gonna bloody do it. Ow! Oh! Zippity doo We're ringing the bell for Australian comedy! Yeehaw! Take a look at these babies. Croatian food stuff. Who gets them? These blokes. Congratulations. Please to meet ya. Join me next time for more of the same! What? Damn, what's he doing? Come on! Be still, my son! For thy motorist who toots his own horn shall surely go blind! Who are you? <laughs> oh, my son! Thy angry motorist shall never be at peace until thy abysmal motorist be long deceased. Be patient with your gallant steed and thy path be cleared. No anger shall it need. What's that meant to mean? <laughs> Finally, we're moving. Last week, the Ugly Stick received this letter. Dear the Ugly Stick, check this out. The electric phantom of ex-family feud host Rob Ruff has materialized in electric shape. In my prematurely returned Big Brother 06 application tape, he's in the bushes by the gate. Investigation is a must. See you soon, William Ruxpin. Thinking the letter to be no more than whimsy, we threw it out and thought nothing more of it. But two days later, when we received the same letter, this time with a portrait of Mr. Ruxpin, as well as a copy of the video in question, we were left no choice but to sit up and take serious notice. My name is William Ruxpin, and Big Brother, I'm your next housemate. William Ruxpin. I am a keen horticulturalist. Oh, and this? A small trinket that my Uncle Patrick brought to me from his trip to Vietnam as thanks for the work I did for him 
on his farm the previous spring. There, stop. Now go back. Rewind, shuttle job, back. Stop the footage, there. There it is, a haunting image, a ghost in the shadows, a ghost in the bushes as it seems, in the background of my application video to Big Brother 06. The footage was obtained by my usual processes on a hired camera I, res I acquired at a swap Thank meet you. some years before. And then, using an in-camera edit function, I had dubbed it across onto VHS tape. The tape was sent away. Two weeks later, I received it back in the mail. But when I received the tape back, there he was. The ghost vision of Rob Ruff visiting my Big Brother 06 application tape. Laced throughout the electromagnetically encoded bushes, the unmistakable face of Queensland newsreader and ex-family feud host, Rob Ruff. Bruff appears to watch over William like an angel, and then, after a brief flicker, he is gone. Rob Bruff was the popular host of television program Family Feud. The program was axed in 1996 on the Seven Network, and now, this year in 2006, has returned to Channel 9 with the forefather of television entertainment, Bert Newton. In the same year as Big Brother's 06 season. But what significance of crossover do these programs share? To take issue with the clarity of the vision, pointless. To deny its significance, irrelevant, if not insignificant. Here I am with my cats, Kelsey and Juniper. I believe that they were the first to realise this occurrence in the videotape. Maybe it was a twinkle of the whisper. Was it a wiggle in the brow? But I think that Kelsey and Juniper were the first to notice the ghost vision of Rob Ruff in my Big Brother 06 application tape in the bushes. Every once in a while, a product comes along. That is a given. But every once in a while, that very product will save you time, and perhaps even some of that hard-earned money you've been earning while you're hard at it. This is such a time. It follows, of course, that this is such a product. Tired of missing all important calls and appointments simply because you can't find your cell phone? Missed calls can mean missed business opportunities, even missed romance. Yes, kissing, and all that goes along with it i.e. sex. Well, now that is a thing of the past, whereas before it was a thing of the present. All because Phone Finder is a thing of now. Phone Finder simply clips onto your cell phone. It's a stylish accessory that you'd want to use simply for its beauty, but it works too, which is a good thing. Here's how. When you need to find your phone, grab any other phone, landline, or cell. It makes no difference. Then dial in your P-Pan. PPAN is an acronym which stands for Phone Finder Personal Access Number. You can choose it yourself, so why not pick something easy to remember? The last four digits of your cell phone number, for instance. When you dial your PPAN, the Phone Finder receives the signal, then emits a tone, allowing you to quickly and easily locate it. You can even choose a ringtone that reflects your personality. Choose from dueling banjos or the sailor's hornpipe. So next time you never miss another call again, you'll wonder how you ever did without it. But what is to be made of this incredible phenomenon, William? Here are some interesting theories. Rearrange the letters of Big Brother and you're left with this expression. Rob be right. Is Rob the right one for Big Brother? Or is Rob the right one for Family Feud? Rearrange the letters of Big Brother one more time and you'll find an interesting occurrence. 
not only can you make the words Rob and Bert, the current and previous host of Big of Family Feud, but you are left with the letters I, H, G. But what do these letters mean? Here are some popular theories. In his grave. Is Rob Ruff rolling in his grave? Is he gone? Is Rob Ruff gone? Or will he come back? Ghost is haunting. Is Rob Ruff's ghost haunting the set of Family Feud? Or Bert Newton? Gravity in hell. This speaks for itself. Hi, Bert. Gee, Rob. It's an expression that may be heard currently in the halls of television stations everywhere. Just incredible, William. How do you do it? Many people, including my sister Sesha, my cats Kelsey and Juniper, and the host of Big Brother 06, Gretel Colleen, will most probably have asked, William Ruxpin, how, how do you know these things? I simply join the dots, and if I were to take the letters of Rob Ruff's popular family feud phrase top for response and rearrange them, maybe then you would find your answer. Onset ESP Pro. That's me. Congratulations, William. Your breathtaking sighting has earned you this week's ugly stick $90 cash prize. Top effort, champion. $90. $90. Oh, hi. I'm the Chico. You know, people always say to me, Hey, Chico. Do you fumble around in bed like some neo-monkey man, unable to pleasure even the most ugly of woman? <laughs> the answer is no. But don't worry. For I, Chico, have buried between five and seven women, and now it is my pleasure to deliver to you the secrets of my bedding successes. Learn to love the Chico way, with sexual positions you cannot even dream up. Call now! First, I will take you through a sexual position that I devised many moments ago. Be prepared to learn the mystical art of the missionary. Calm down! Wow, that brief clip there pretty much blew my mind. When your mind is blown, be prepared for it to be blown again when I take you through the second position in my training course. One that is banned in Warsaw. I will give to you the magic of the reverse missionary. Calm down! Holy cow, that was amazing! Surely there can't be any more! Then, just when you think that Chico can give you no more, he does. One night an angel visited me in my sleep and gave to me a position that will realign all your cosmic energies. Be prepared, get ready, and get down and Have you pushed the button? 
Yeah. You know, I did press it. Uh, yeah, I just thought if you hadn't pushed the button, I'd push it, but if you've already pushed it, it's fine. No, I, yeah, I pressed it. Yeah, I just thought, just in case. Hey. Yeah? I was just thinking maybe my button isn't working. What? Yeah. I said maybe my button isn't working. In which case it might be a good idea if you also press the button to be on the safe side. See you tomorrow then. See you then. I guess it's kind of, I guess it's kind of, um, emotional. It's where we used to come. I'd say, uh, I want to, uh, want to feed the, the, uh, the ducks. Um, I meant the birds. There are no, there are no ducks here. Which Dad would always tell me, you know, there are, there are no fucking ducks there. <laughs> so we'd come, we'd come down here with the, um, the bread. I'd go to break off my pieces and, you know, throw them to the, to the birds. But uh, Dad would just, just dump all the bread on the ground, and uh, a massive swarm of birds would come down, and I couldn't, I couldn't feed them. Um, he he'd be pulling me away, saying, "Let's go and uh, wanted to go and beat up some guy who he said had stolen our bologna or something." He's a strange, strange man. But um, <laughs> feeding the birds, maybe that's something I'll do with um, with my kids. But I'll probably. Probably warn them not to um, not to let the birds eat the whole loaf because they um, they 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 um, they sink like a block of flats. They all sink. If they eat too much bread, and they will shit all over your pants, all over them. And then someone will say, "You've ruined your pants. You can walk home." and you walk home and it gets dark and you get lost and uh, you end up getting hit by someone backing out of their driveway and uh, you wake up in the children's hospital. But, um, uh, <coughs> you know, that's probably, probably a very specific case. But, uh, no, it's good. It's a lovely, lovely spot, beautiful spot. Really perfectly, didn't it? Just, it was amazing. Yeah.